All right, so I've got a folder here containing a DICOM image data set that I want to anonymize. If we open this up, you can see that we have all of this information here, which we may want to alter. We can change or delete the name, etc. But we can't do this uh, within most softwares and still maintain the full DICOM image data set without usually exporting it to a JPEG. That's how usually we typically would anonymize this. So the easiest way to keep the it is DICOM images and remove the DICOM data is uh, to use a software called DICOM Browser, which you can download here. The link is in the description. And once you download that, I'm going to open up that software. <clears throat> and uh, it's going to look like this. And so I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to grab that folder. And here's the patient that I want to anonymize. Okay, And so now all of these fields here you can edit. And so you can double click in here and say, I've already you know edited this, but let's just say, for example, that I want to delete it. So I'm going to delete the institution. I'm going to delete uh, my name as the referring provider. I'm going to change the birth date, which is technically my birth date at this point. I'm going to delete the, all of this stuff. Okay, and I can even name it something else. So I could give it my name if I wanted to. Um, all right. And, and so all of this is totally editable. And when you're done, you can go File, Save, or hit Control S. And it's going to give you some options here. So you can overwrite the files, which is what I typically do because I've copied the folder somewhere new. You could also write them under new root directory, etc. Um, so I've already copied and pasted this folder on my desktop, so I'm happy to just overwrite them. Okay, so I'm going to save that, close the DICOM browser, and now when I go to open this up, you'll be able to see that I've edited all of this uh, DICOM data directly, and now I can send this uh, DICOM data set to students, and they can have the full interactive experience without any uh, compromise of the patient's confidentiality.